Hello everyone, greetings from the Netherlands and welcome to the next presentation in the data mapping session. I am Sam Levelang, lead programmer of the distributed system for scientific collections, also known as DISCO. In the next couple of minutes, I will present our work at data harmonization. My work as developer is aimed at creating a European platform for the enhancement and curation of specimen data from all European collections. I tried to capture this in this image. As DISCO, we capture data from all different data providers here on the left. Preferably, we get the data from the source, which could be a collection management system or a digitization street. However, as most systems also expose data through network standards, such as Darwin Core and ABCD ESG, we focused on those initially. We then provide a platform on top of this data on which generic services can run. These generic, generic services could be machine acting services, such as georeferencing services or services which perform optical character recognition. However, um, on these services, Wout Alec will later give a presentation on how to connect your very own machine agent into the DISCO platform. Other services can be in the form of human facing services through different websites, portals, or citizen science platforms. Data can be generated, which can be integrated into the DISCO platform. The goal is to have all these different services improve, validate, and link to data. After which, we will publish the improved versions to our data consumers here on the right. Success of our platform is dependent on making data actionable, having a centralized format for data. While this sounds easy, it really isn't. We will have lots of different data suppliers, different data civilizations, and different data models. All these differences need to be ironed out, which starts by creating a single structure in which we keep our data. One of the biggest pitfalls of data harmonization is painfully well described in this comic. We will start with 14 competing standards, which we think is ridiculous, and we really should have one universal standard that covers everyone's use cases. Everybody agrees, and soon we'll be in a situation where we have 15 competing standards. This is definitely not, not what we want for DISCO. We want to make use of existing and emerging Tetrix standards and ontologies. We will build and build, we have built upon the work of John Ritzkowitz and Tim Robertson for their new GPF unified model. And we will only add additional terms when there's really nothing else available. The OpenDS, op, Open Digital Specimen, as we call this specification, is therefore based on Darwin Core, but the structure completely different than the Darwin Core archives. We will use J, JavaScript object notation, JSON as basis, and make heavy use of JSON schema to describe our objects. Now that we have some context in place, I would like to zoom in on the actual process. We will look at two examples, which will be the ingestion and harmonization of Darwin Core archives and of ABCD EFG to biocase instances. Both have different civilizations, respectively comma separated values for Darwin Core archives and XML for ABCD EFG. For Darwin Core Archives, our main challenge is the size and relational nature of the civilization. To get a single full record, it might be needed to combine rows from multiple files using the Darwin Core Archive or DS key. Especially when these files are millions of records in size, it will, it's a difficult and compute heavy task. This is why we have chosen to comply to the relational nature of the schema and first store these in temporary relational tables. We can then start pulling records from the database as a full unit, including all extensions, and convert these to JSON. For ABCD EFG, a different set of challenges come into play. 
Here the ingestion can pull from a paginated biocase endpoint. The data comes in the extensive ABCD and ABCDEFG data standard. This standard knows a deeply hierarchical structure, which can be difficult to navigate. To ease the data mapping, we flatten this structure into a JSON, removing all hierarchy and enabling one-to-one -one mapping. Now that we have uh, harmonized the data civilization, we can start harmonizing the terms. During this harmonization, we make use of an additional mapping object. In this mapping, the user can put in additional information about each data set. We roughly see we have created two types of this of this mapping. The first option, the first one is to set a default mapping. This means that for each term in the data set, an optional default value can be set. This could be interesting when data set wide values are missing, for example, a license or a preparation type. The second option is to set an explicit field mapping. This will force the application to prefer a specific mapping over another mapping. For example, by default, the application would prefer the ABCD global unit ID over other identifier fields. You could override this behavior by using an explicit field mapping and for example indicate that the application should use the ABCD unit ID numeric instead. Now, next we will go term by term, mapping from the ingested data into our harmonized data model. Sometimes there's a one-on-one -on -one match, but sometimes there's also, there are also multiple terms with a broad match. And sometimes we need additional logic to map these standards. Of course, the Darwin Core data fits more easily into the data model, as most of our model is based on Darwin Core itself. However, we found that we could map most, if not all, data in ABCD EFV records as well. To give an example, here's a fossil specimen from the collection at Teltec in Estonia. On the left, the flattened ABCD EFG record, and on the right, the harmonized open digital specimen record. You may notice, for example, that there's room for multiple identifications uh, with their relevant references as well. We are still in active development and improving the mapping regularly. We believe that by placing the responsibility of data harmonization at DISCO as a centralized data platform, we can unburden individual institutions. We can centralize expertise and knowledge and improve both the amount of data available as well as the quality of it. By harmonizing the data into a single data model, which builds on top of it, of existing and emerging topic standards. We create actionable data. We can now use generic services to start working with the data without them being bothered by differences in serialization or standards. This enables us to start focusing on the fun stuff, actually improving our biodiversity data. On our radar for the next months and years to come is a third step in the data harmonization process which is the harmonization of values. In the data, we see many different ways to mention the same thing. We think of a specimen sex and see a limited amount of possible values in our head, female, male, maybe a couple others. However, there is an almost infinite amount of ways to write this value down. This is what we would like to harmonize with the use of strict vocabularies so that humans or machines do not need to be bothered by harmonizing values such as F, Femme, Female, and recognize that these are actually all the same. We will actively look for collaborations on this part, as we will, would like this to be a global effort under the wings of Deadwood. Thank you for keeping up with me, even though bits might have been technical, and feel free to reach out with any questions. Our code is open source, so feel free to take a look at it. And I hope you have a great TEDWIC 2023.